What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we got Tory Holt through the years. Already did Kurt Warner, already did Marshall Falk from the Gadget Show on Turf Days. We did Steven Jackson, who was a little bit after that. I gotta get y'all Isaac Bruce and we gotta do Orlando Pace. I gotta start showing these offensive linemen some love. Cause if ain't nobody else love you, you know Miles Dawkins loves you baby. Now NCAA 98, Tory, Tory, about to say Tory Smith, Tory Holt was a junior. He, 70, he had 72 agility, 76 accelerations. The speed is at 77, 40 on the awareness, 69 catch. Now his junior numbers were crazy, all right? He caught 62 passes for 1,099 yards, averaging 17.7 yards per catch and 16 TDs. Before that, he combined for four TDs and 41 catches for his first two seasons there. So to do that in one season was pretty phenomenal. Let's move on to NCAA 99, where he has 98 speed, 91 agility, 96 acceleration, 91 catch, and then 91 awareness. And check out that beautiful catch. And then I don't know what this celebration is, but EA Sports, y'all are tripping. This look, look like some cult stuff, and, I, and, 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 and that's not cool. I ain't down with that. Anyways, man, his senior numbers look like this. Caught 88 passes for 1,604 yards, averaging 18.2 yards per catch, 11 TDs as well. And, of course, he was the number six pick in the draft first round to the St. Louis Rams, where he comes in at 82 overall for a rookie receiver. That's pretty impressive. 90 agility, 88 speed, 85 acceleration, 69 awareness, 83 catch, and then a 57 break tackle rating. And being a Nana fan, I loved watching Torrey Holt play as long as he wasn't going up against the 49ers. Anyways, his rookie numbers, they look like this. And not to mention, he was first-team All-American. His last year at NC State, he also was ACC Offensive Player and ACC Player of the Year. So he was just balling, doing his thing. His rookie season, of course, they won the Super Bowl. He caught 52 passes on 97 targets for 788 yards and 6 TDs. Madden 2001, next gen back then on the PS2. He comes in at 85 overall, 92 speed, 64 awareness, 94 agility, 89 acceleration. What a route right there. 80 catch, 88 jumping, and 56 for that break. Tackle, he made the Pro Bowl this season season that's right year number two he's already making the pro bowl he caught 82 passes on 139 targets a league high 19.9 yards per reception that's crazy six tds also broke off an 85 yarder and of course he got 1635 receiving yards which was the league high that year Freaking incredible year for my man, Tory Holt. Moving on to Madden 2002. He is 89 overall with 94 speed, 87 awareness, 89 agility, 99 acceleration, 88 catch, 89 jump, and a break tackle rating of 57. He made the Pro Bowl yet again, was targeted 133 times, caught 81 passes for 1,363 yards, 7 TDs, broke off a 51 yarder, and of course averaged 16.8 yards per catch and 85.2 yards per game. The year before that, he averaged 102 yards per game. I mean, the greatest show on turf. And when he had Marshall Falk too, I mean, it was just deadly. It was just, it was deadly, man. Randy Moss is on the cover of NFL 2K2. And I'm going to mention Randy Moss in this video one more time. Be patient. Wait on that. But anyways, man, and ESPN, not ESPN just yet, but NFL 2K2. He is 88 overall to match his jersey number. And in this game, it was kind of just too easy to throw the ball up to him. I mean, that's not the only touchdown I got, but that was the only one that I showed. And I was just chilling playing 2K2. Okay, don't mind me, okay? Sometimes I just enjoy playing some old school football, okay? Anyways, Madden 2003 with his teammate Masha, Masha, Masha on the cover. He comes in at 92 overall with 96 speed, 89 awareness, 88 agility, 96 acceleration to get away from my 49ers. I got to catch him, man. 92 catch, 90 jump, and a 61 break tackle. Let's check out those numbers one time, all right? Now, this was the first season since his rookie season that he did not make the Pro Bowl, but he still had a phenomenal season. Was targeted 160 times, caught 91 passes, which is a career high so far. He also received 1,302 receiving yards, four TDs, average 81.4 yards per game. In NFL 2K3, my man Torrey Holt comes in at 89 overall with 91 speed, 89 agility, 92 route running, 48 break tackle, 86 catch, 
49 vision and 70 INT is 70 intelligence. I never liked the fact that they use the word intelligence. I just like awareness better because it kind of makes it seem like it's on the field. When you word when you use the word intelligence, it's almost like you're speaking of him overall. Like, is he smart overall? Like, in life? You know, book smart, street smart, all that. I mean, anyways, let's just move on. Madden 2004, he comes in at 92 overall with 97 speed. 81, I mean 91, excuse me, for his awareness. 89 for his agility, 96 acceleration, 91 catch, 90 jump, and then a 60 break tackling. He looks much better wearing that 81. Wearing that 88, it did look right, but it also didn't look right because I'm so used to seeing that 81 jersey. His numbers, I mean, he freaking lit, lit up the NFL, okay, man? He was targeted 183 times, caught a league high 117 catches. For 1,696 yards, which also was a league high. Average 106 yards per game, also a league high. He caught 12 TD passes and broke off a 48-yarder. I mean, he was just lighting the world on fire with his play. And ESPN Football 2K4, okay, or just 2K4, he's 92 overall with 90 catch, 94 route running, 91 speed, 89 agility, 84 jump, 85 carry, and a 78 break tackle. Now, remember those numbers. He led the league in yards per game. Yards in general, and of course, re receptions, okay? So, remember that. So, Madden, after that year, decided to make him 96 overall, which is pretty freaking phenomenal. 97 speed, 95 awareness, 92 agility, 96 acceleration, 96 catch, 90 jump, 60 break tackle. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Madden 05 was like the first Madden that you could tap square with the receiver, and they would just kind of lay down. I like to think that's because of Torrey Holt and Isaac Bruce, because, you know, they would catch the ball a lot of times. They ain't trying to get hit, so they just fall over. And I ain't mad at them because there's some big dudes out there. Anyways, and ESPN 2K5, he had, he's 100 overall. Okay, Randy Moss, T Terrell Owens, and Marvin Harrison were also 100 overall in the game. That is phenomenal. 100 overall. 97 catch, 98 route running, 91 speed, 89 agility, 84 jump, 85 carrying a 79 break tackle. And, of course, that was for the year that he led the league in almost every single category. This season, however, though, he caught 94 passes for 1,372 yards, caught 10 TD passes, averaged 85.8 yards per game. I don't know what happened to him. I mean, he clearly had a down year. Just joking. But, of course, the year before, he that's when he made all pro honors, the first and only time in his career that he did that. But, of course, he made the Pro Bowl yet again. Madden 06, he's 96 overall yet again. 96 speed, 95 awareness, 93 agility, 96 acceleration, 97 catch, 87 jump, and 60 break tackle. And I never really got a chance to play with the Rams in Madden just because I'm a Niner fan and I didn't want to do that, okay? It pained me to play with other teams from my division that were just good, okay? I didn't want to do it. And on top of that, I never really liked playing in that dome, and they never really had a great defense. Me, when I play, I like having a great defense, and just my opinion, and I could be wrong, maybe they had the best defense of all time. I don't know. But in my opinion, St. Louis never really had the, the best defense, like, ever, and I just like playing with a good defense. Anywho... Madden 06 on the 360, all of his attributes are the same, 96 overall, 96 speed, 95 awareness, 93 agility, 96 acceleration, 97 catch, 87 jump, and a 60 break tackle. When look at his numbers, he made a Pro Bowl yet again, caught 100 passes, again 102 to be exact, 9 TDs, 1,331 receiving yards, and averaged 95.1 yards per game. Right there, beating up on the Cowboys. Let's move on to Sean Alexander on the cover of Madden 07, taking on his team, the Seattle Seahawks. And Torrey Holt is 97 overall, 93 speed, 95 acceleration, 97 awareness, 93 elusiveness, 89 juke move, 98 catch, and then an 89 jump rating. So when we look at his numbers, they look like this. Once again, he made the Pro Bowl, all right? He caught 93 passes for 1,188 yards, 10 TDs, averaging 12.8 yards per catch and 74.3 yards per game. Now, when we look at his numbers for the season upcoming, you're going to see that they're almost identical. It's freaking ridiculous how identical they freaking are, okay? Madden 08, he's 98 overall with 94 speed, 95 agility, 95 acceleration, 98 catch, 98 route running, 86 for that catch in traffic, and a 92 spectacular catch rating. Let's go to those numbers I was talking about, okay? He caught a grand total of 93 passes for 1,189 yards. The year before that was 1,188 yards. He averaged 
12.8 yards per catch. Excuse me as my voice cracks like I'm 12. Anyways, man, once again, he averaged 12.8 yards per game. Seven TDs. He averaged 74.3 yards per game. Basically identical numbers except for the fact that he had 10 TDs to 7 TDs and averaged one th- or got 1,188 yards and then 1,189. It's freaking phenomenal. I don't know how he did it. He's a future Hall of Famer. Shouldn't go in before T.O., but he should be a Hall of Famer. Anyways, let's move on to Madden 09. He's 94 overall with 93 speed, 93 agility, 91 acceleration, 97 catch, 98 route running, 91 catch and traffic, and 80 spectacular catch. For his last year in St. Louis, he caught 64 passes, which is the third lowest in his career. He also got three TDs and 796 receiving yards. For the Jacksonville Jaguars, he comes in at 85 overall in Madden 2010. 86 speed, 86 agility, 87 acceleration, 92 catch, 94 route running, 78 catch in traffic, and then an 86, 88 spectacular catch rating. His numbers for the Jacksonville Jaguars look like this. He was still targeted 103 times. The only time he wasn't targeted over 100 times was his rookie season when it was just at 97. 51 receptions for 722 yards, zero TDs, which obviously is a career low. Average 14.2 yards per reception and 48.1 yards per game. Then, of course, after his one year in Jacksonville, he was on the New England Patriots, but did not actually play a regular season game for them because he eventually would be released but in Madden 11 on the Patriots he's 79 overall 85 speed 86 agility 84 acceleration 88 catch 88 route running 77 catch in traffic and an 83 spectacular catch rating as well so a pretty solid career pretty phenomenal career I wonder how it feels to go to the Super Bowl like your rookie season and win it and then go one more time and lose in like one of the biggest upsets ever to the Patriots before they were like the Patriot Patriots. You know what I mean? But anyways, long story short, he's a 91.2 overall throughout all of his NFL video games that I had personally. All right? So 91.2 overall is pretty phenomenal. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. I do hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. Until next time, y'all. Peace. That's all.